Hey everybody, Angie here with I Feel the Rush in Brilliant, Wisconsin. Thank you for joining us again tonight. So what I'm going to be showing you tonight is something super fantastic. Now, I've seen it a few times and again, I was so excited to do this all week. I couldn't wait for the live because I wanted to show you how easy this is. And with the holidays coming, you're going to start to see more and more ideas that you can be doing for super inexpensive that are going to be gifts that you can make on your own for reasonably priced and no one's going to have anything like that. Hey, Michael, thanks for joining me tonight. You are going to love this project and men or women, whoever you have to buy presents for this holiday are going to love it. And I'll show you, it's going to be camouflage dipped cups, plates, bowls, and I'm going to show you how. So again, it's camouflage dipped, super inexpensive. I'll tell you, it took me um, $2, $3 to make this. All you needed was, and I'm going to show you some different samples. You'll see them behind me here. I've got a bowl, a plate, another cup up there. I've got some fingernail polish. That is the secret recipe for this project. And I'm going to go through each, each piece and explain to you what I did so that you understand how simple it is and I give you a few tips and tricks on what to do, what not to do. So first of all, I went to the Dollar Store, actually the Dollar Tree. All of their um, cups, bowls, plates, everything is $1, so you can't go wrong. I mean, even if you mess it up, which I'm gonna explain to you how you fix it if you feel like you messed it up, uh, for a dollar you can't go wrong, even if it was horrendous. You could always get rid of it or recycle it or take it to Goodwill or something. So you have a Dollar Store mug, you have some fingernail polish, that's another one of the components I'll show you. It doesn't matter what kind, what color, but for me, I wanted to try some camouflage. I'll show you some different greens and blacks that I used, but for this particular one, I used some pink, brown, a little black, just to you know sample it and see how it turned out. Now, for everybody out there, I have not done this before, so this is on a level of one to 10. Difficulty, one, maybe less than one. All you need is the cup, you need a bowl, you will see here. This is why you're gonna need a disposable container um, or one that you're gonna use for other craft projects because you're gonna put some fingernail polish in there and it's probably not gonna be easy to get out. So disposable bowl, water, your dollar store mug, cup, plate, whatever you wanna try, um, and your fingernail polish. So I'm gonna explain it to you, although I'm not gonna show you on this video, I will make another one and we're gonna post it on YouTube later on. So I'll give you that link once that's done. You're gonna fill this bowl maybe about halfway or two thirds of the way with lukewarm water. Don't go too hot. I tried that and it sets way too fast. So when you dip your container in there, it's gonna come out kind of bubbly. It doesn't come out very smooth. So you're gonna fill this container with lukewarm water you're gonna take your different color fingernail polishes and you're just gonna drizzle, drizzle it on the top. This is just an example. And then you're gonna send you know, another color depending on what, how many colors you wanna use. I was going for the camouflage effect. So I used, um, as you can see above there, I used greens, blacks, pink because I wanted a few with pink. Now everybody might not like that. Go whatever, whatever color you want. And it doesn't have to be camel. It could be whatever color you want. So you know somebody who likes purple, Red, blue, whatever, give it a try. Red, white, and blue, that could work too. That rhymed, that wasn't supposed to. Um, so you put the water in, lukewarm water, you drizzle. Now keep in mind, when you drizzle it on the top, you kind of want to go a little quicker. Um, the longer you let it sit, the faster it dries and it might not adhere to the dish quite as well. So you get that in there, you take your dish, you dip it. Now, depending on the direction you want the dip, you can see that mine's a little, like I wanted it a little more with that watercolor kind of design. So I wasn't looking for anything in particular and just dipped it. And I'll show you a couple different pieces. Now I just did this tonight, maybe a half hour. And I'll show you the different designs, how they turned out on the different mugs. So I dipped this one and I let it dry for about an hour. And then I painted this little deer on there. So you don't have to paint the deer. It was just a suggestion. I'm gonna show you a few more pieces. All right, so this was the second piece. Now, this one turned out a little bit better because the first time I dipped, I used a little bit too warm of water. This time I used a little cooler water and you can see it turned out this really cool design. Now, remember, this is trial and error. I have not done this before and when you try it, it's gonna take you a few times. So that's why I bought a few pieces. And also, 
make sure you buy fingernail polish remover if you don't have any around at home. Uh, because I did find when I dipped it the first time, as long as it didn't turn out very well, so I was like, I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna use some fingernail polish remover and it worked. So it takes a little bit of elbow grease if you wanna take it off, but my suggestion is have it handy. And if you don't like what the pattern that turns out the first time, use some of that fingernail polish remover and it will come off and then you can dip it again. Just make sure your cup is dry. And then on this one, you'll see I painted some little deer footprints. I love this. Now, another thing I want to mention is once you've got it painted, you don't have to do deer prints. I just did that for an extra touch to give you another idea of what you can do. Um, but once you're done dipping it, once it's dried, I'd probably leave it dry overnight to make sure it's really dry and then use like a sealant. You can use a spray, you could use a paint on kind, but make sure it's super dry before you do that. And um, to make sure that it's sealed in really good. Now, I might mention that you probably wanna wash these by hand because I don't know how this will turn out in the dishwasher. And if you have a really cool design on there, I would just recommend don't put it in the dishwasher because you want it to make sure it holds up. Okay, I'm gonna show you another piece. So we've got the mug, now we've got the bowl. So I dipped the bowl and I really like how this turned out. Like it's unique, there's nothing right or wrong with it. You really cannot go wrong because they're all gonna be super unique pieces. So if you wanted to make a set for someone, I've got a bowl, I've got a cup, and then I've also got a plate. Now the plate is a little bit trickier, but I want to explain to you how I did it and then you can decide how you wanna try it. What ideally I could do is um, maybe dip it down into a deeper dish, but I didn't have a disposable one that I wanted to worry about wrecking. So I used my same bowl, I filled it with water. One thing I wanna mention is with every dip, you're gonna to wanna to change your water and change your fingernail polish. So every time I dipped a mug, I changed my water because when you actually dip it, um, this mug will absorb all of the paint that you have in the dish. So if you have water, your fingernail polish, you dip that, it is going to suck up almost all of the fingernail polish in this bowl. So when I say you're gonna change the water and the fingernail polish, it basically means you're changing the water and kind of wiping the bowl because your fingernail polish will all be on your dish here, your mug or your bowl, whatever you're gonna make. Um, so that being said, when I did this plate, it turned out pretty cool, even though I didn't really plan on, hey Angel, how are you? Thanks girl for joining. Um, when I dipped this one, as you can see, it turned out really awesome, although I didn't know that's what was gonna happen. I just went dip, dip, you know, around all four corners and it actually turned out pretty awesome. So you could give someone this plate you could give them this cup. And literally, for those of you who are just joining, this was like $3. Dollar store mug, dollar store plate. You put this on here, maybe fill it with some goodies, wrap it up. That's a present, man. You're gonna spend probably $30 on that if you could buy it somewhere, but you can't because it's gonna be one of a, one of a kind made by you. So make sure you sign it, sign the bottom. You could even write a message on here. It depends on how crafty you are but don't be afraid to screw up. Come on, $1. If you mess it up, you go spend one more dollar and you try it again. Or try different colors. Like I said, this one's pink. This one actually turned out pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so here's a set. And then Angel, check this out. Look at that. Oh, but I gotta turn it so you can see the footprints. Check it out, girl. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna eat my cereal out of this tomorrow morning. This will be awesome. So again, when it's totally, totally dry, seal it and maybe just make a note on the bottom, do not dishwash because I don't know how that's gonna turn out, okay? Okay, so we got the bowl, we've got the cup, we've got the plate. Now for the good stuff. Okay, you're saying this was all good stuff, I know. But for those of you who go hunting and then you come home and you're like, it's a little chilly, I could use a little something to warm me up then you're gonna want this. Yes, it's camouflage. And I did the same thing, just to explain this to you because if you try to do this, um, I just wanna explain to you something a little trickier about it, is you're gonna use the same bowl, fill it with lukewarm water, 
Um, put your colors on top again with just the fingernail polish. For those of you just joining, it's just fingernail polish, water, fingernail polish, and your, your cup or bowl or whatever you want to do. So lukewarm water, halfway up, put your fingernail polish drizzled on the top. Now with this, what I tried to do the first time and it did not work. So I'm going to explain this to you is I thought, oh, I'll just go like this. No, that didn't work because there's air inside. Science didn't take that in consideration. So what I did was when I put it in, I went to the side, which is why you can see it's like at an angle, but I'm sure there's ways of doing this, you know, different ways. What I wanted to mention also is when I dipped the other side, I had to add more fingernail polish and I had to let it dry just a little bit. Now I only tried this one time, so I'm sure you could make it look much more cool than this, but I kind of like it. So I'm going to leave it. This one, you're going to want to make sure and spray the inside to seal it and the outside because when you dip it like this, yoink, you're going to paint on the inside and on the outside. So just spray it really good. And again, make sure it's hand washed. As long as you spray it with sealer, you don't need to worry about, you know, putting your lips on here because it's going to have wine in it. <laughs> no, because it's sealed, you're going to be okay. Um, so yeah, so that's super cool. And I'm going to put a little deer head on here, like I had on here. So as far as that's concerned, you can get little stickers online. You don't have to be a painter to do that. Um, so, or just use a stencil. If you are kind of crafty, use a pencil, draw a picture on there and see if you can get something close. You're the one that has to enjoy it. So if you think it looks good, thanks. If you think it looks good, then enjoy it. Don't worry about being a perfectionist. Life is too short to worry about perfection. So that's that. Isn't it fantastic? So now tell me in the comments below, who are you going to make one of these for for Christmas or you know, people, let's just face it. Let's not wait till Christmas. We should give hunting gifts. Happy beginning of hunting season. Someone would love this. Enjoy my coffee before we go out in the morning. You know, everybody would love to enjoy a cup of coffee and this, it have to be good luck. Yes, I'm with you. Can we use this and this at the same time? <laughs> so, all right. So for those of you who are going to try it, let me know if you have any questions or if you get into it and you're like, I really messed this up. What did I do? FaceTime me. We can go live and we can go over it. I would love to see you guys try some of these things and I'd love to see how they turn out. Even if they don't turn out. I love to see those too because that's real life. I mean, it doesn't all work out the first time especially. So let me know in the comments below if you like this idea. Give us a thumbs up. Please share with your friends. I know there's other people out there who enjoy the outdoors who would love to make a project this simple or for somebody that they love. So uh, thank you so much for those of you who joined me tonight and for those of you who will watch it on another day. We appreciate all of your love and comments and we love the community that we're building here with everybody. So thank you so, so much. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and you guys have a great evening. We will see you again here next Thursday night, 8 p.m. Central. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you.